Hi, this is Grace Stores, editor of Movement. I'm here at Move 2023. I'm joined right now by John Wall, a Senior Vice President and Head at BlackBerry QNX. Thanks so much for joining me today, John. How has your Move 2023 experience been so far? Oh, it's been excellent. Lots of activity, lots of cool things to look at. It's great. And later today, you have a talk coming up with Hyundai and Mercedes on a panel on the topic embracing the software-defined vehicle. What does the driving experience look like in the software-defined lane, and how are BlackBerry supporting the industry shift in this direction? Yeah, it's a great question. I mean, uh, I think the whole uh, discussion of software-defined vehicle is very interesting. Uh, I think what we're going to see in the car is we're going to see more and more features defined by software, whether it's safety features, uh, whether it's entertainment features, personalization of the vehicle. You know, what that specifically means to us, we provide foundational software for the car. So we provide an operating system, a hypervisor and middleware. We often joke that we are plumbers. We are what you find below, uh, you know, underneath the floor, in the walls, you don't see it but it has to work. So we provide the foundation that allows the car makers to build on top of that foundation. So we are very focused on safety, security, and performance, uh, and trying to abstract the hardware so that the people that are creating the experience for the consumer have that solid base to work on. Great, and should we expect to see big changes in vehicle technology over the course of this year, or are these longer term advancements? Yeah, I think these are longer term advancements. When we talk about software defined vehicle, uh, this is, uh, I think, a saying or a description that is fairly new in the last couple of years. It has a lot to do with the cloud makers or the cloud providers coming in and providing services to the car makers, talking about an ecosystem for the car. The reality is the car is already becoming software defined. It just isn't called software defined. If you think about the cockpit of most cars, you'll see things like reconfigurable instrument clusters. You'll see the ability to personalize the car with your music, your entertainment. So the car is already moving towards being software defined. Really, when we talk about SDV, we're talking about making the next leap, which is, you know, think about a cell phone. Think about the ecosystem for a cell phone. You can think about it very similarly for the car, where you now have an open ecosystem for applications, for new features within the vehicle, uh, except that it's a much more complex environment than a cell phone because there's safety considerations, uh, things that control driving, steering, which are very important. But you're not going to see a big jump from one year to the next. This is an evolving technology. And why do you think the shift from hardware defined to software defined is proving to be so problematic for many of the world's leading automakers? Yeah, that's a, again a very good question. And I think there may be a perception that software is easy and that software is something that, well, if you make a mistake, you can always fix the software. Uh, I think the reality of it is, as we start to simplify the hardware within the car, where we start to consolidate all these single function computers within the car, to these larger high-performance domain controllers, what you're actually doing is you're increasing the complexity of the software. Now you have a lot of interaction within the software of different functions, and, and I think that that's actually very complex, and I think as car companies are trying to embrace software, they know that software will be critical to their future. They're jumping into the game, they're, they're building software teams, but really, it's very difficult to just go out and hire software people and suddenly have a software group. Uh, you know, you need the structure, you need the experience. And I, I think that what we're seeing in the industry is there's been a, bit, a, few, a few missteps. They're adjusting. I also think that the car companies are sometimes unsure at what level they need to be developing software. Uh, some believe they need to be developing software that interfaces to the hardware directly. Others believe it's at a higher level, more what the consumer sees. And I think there's starting to be a reset where car companies are now starting to realize, okay, I don't need to create the foundation part. The customer's not going to see that. It just needs to work. And so I think it's evolving. And lastly, everyone is making a move pledge where they make a promise pledge towards a more sustainable future in mobility and how their company will go about achieving that pledge. What is yours? So my pledge on behalf of BlackBerry QNX is that we are laser focused on providing the safest, secure, and high-performance platform 
that we make available to the entire industry. We are what we call Switzerland. We provide to everybody. We work with all the hardware vendors. And we want to continue to provide that safe foundation. It is our focus and it's what we do. And I pledge that we will continue to do that. Incredible. Thank you so much, John. And thanks so much for speaking with me today. My pleasure. Thank you very much.